Beacon Books, the first eight in the series that started the Sleaze Good Girl Art series. And um, it's quite a run, but this is the first eight. Hi, I'm Gary Lavisi. We're going to take a look at the first books in the Beacon Book series. They'd later become Beacon Signal, uh, Softcover Library, and everything else they'd run into the 70s. But in 1954, Beacon Books started uh, publishing, and they had uh, eight books. They started with short uh, size paperbacks. And um, the short size paperbacks, this is, these are the first eight. These are the spines. And you can see there, again, short size, shorter than the original, than the later, uh, later uh, tall format. Beacon Books was um, an outgrowth out of Universal Publishing and Distributing Company, which published a lot of digests. They published the Royal Giants, the uh, Universal uh, Giants. They published um, Uni Books. Uh, intimate books, intimate novels, uh, bronze books, fiesta books, a whole bunch of uh, sleazy, good girl art, very, very collectible, cool digest series. And um, then they got into paperbacks, and they started off with these eight short size paperbacks. And we're going to look at them now. Some of them are reprints from the Woodford Press, some of them are paperback originals. A few of them have Walter Pop cover art. And uh, we're going to start off with um, Beacon, and they started off with um, with a 101, started at 101, B101. She Got What She Wanted by Ori Hit, 1954, and uh, this is a paperback original. The uh, cover art is by Al Rossi, great cover. And um, Della was white trash. Della Banners was young, lush, bewitchingly beautiful. She had everything except moral scruples. Well, can't you know? Can't knock her for everything. She didn't. She had a lot of other things going for her. Nice hat. Nice hat. Nice body. She's a very friendly woman. This is Al Rossi, and this is one of the hard-boiled noir uh, sleaze, sleazers that uh, Ori Hit was famous for. This is Beacon B101. Miriam Lina always called Beacon Books the Sin, Sin Street Slag. Uh, she cool. even did an article for me in Paperback Parade when she did some uh, about Beacon Books. She says, Beacon Books, Sin Street Slag. And uh, it's kind of slags, the bottom of the barrel kind of sleaze. But this is 1954, so, uh, you know, there's still, still a lot to go. Uh, Pawn by Fan Nichols is Beacon 102. Really nice cover art. I don't know who did it. Uh, she was cheap and easy, but unforgettable. So that's like, uh, you know, for a guy picking this up on the newsstand, that would be like perfect for him. You know, you're a war-weary GI coming back from the war or from Korea in 1954, and you say, oh, yeah, she's cheap and easy, but she's unforgettable. Yeah. And this is very much the, um, also, this is very much the cover inspired by the Burt Lancaster uh uh, uh, embrace uh, with uh, I don't forget, I forgot who the uh, woman actress is uh, in a for, uh, from she here to return from here to eternity yeah she I forget you know she wasn't unforgettable so and that was a um, this is a reprint from Woodford Press they did some books from uh, Woodford Press um, uh, the next uh, B B one o three rooming house by Fred Malloy. Strange evil took root at that fe at that fetid house. Too many men knew her too well. Uh, rooms for a night. And that's a rooming house. That's also a reprint of uh, Woodford Press. Um, I can't see the cover artist. Here's the back covers. Della was white trash. Any man, any night. Rooms for a night. Uh, some of this, the writing here, the, 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 the blurbs and stuff is really great. It's really funny. Uh, it's politically incorrect, but you know what? It's funny and it's priceless. So that's one of the things that makes these books so cool. 
and they're good they're good reads they're they're a lot of them are really well done uh hard crime noir thrillers uh, murder mysteries uh books full of passion and uh and uh, violence and you don't get much better when uh you get to beacon uh 104 again with ori hit and that's shabby street ori hit comes back the intimate secrets of a heel and his women this is by walter pop uh, the cover art is by walter pop and again just to show you a reprint they reprinted these books many times in the beacon series so this is Beacon 104, this is Beacon 194. So uh, maybe like 90 books between this one and this one. But this is the fourth big printing. This is also, this is of course this, the same art, Walter Pop. This copy is signed by Walter Pop, who was a friend of mine and uh, was uh, at my show. Him and his wife Marie uh, many, many times came to the show. They were great, uh, great guests, very popular, very, very sweet, loving people, and missed very much. So that's Beacon 104, Walter Pop. Beacon 105 is, of, of all things, I don't know how this got in there, King of the Kyber Rifles by Talbot Monday. And this is a, uh, I believe this is a Walter Pop cover. It's, uh, this is a historical romance uh, set in India, and uh, uh, King is a uh, British uh, heroic soldier who's uh, uh, in the Bengal Lancers fighting the uh, fighting the um, uh, enemies of the British Empire, um, and uh, meeting some sexy women along the way which is always good for adventure. Number B in B106 is um, Walk in Darkness by Hans Hobb, or Hab Habby, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And uh, he found dangerous freedom in a Fraulein's arms, a stirring novel of a conqueror who tasted forbidden fruits, gifts of flesh. So this is Walk in Darkness, and basically, this is an African American uh, American military uh, MP who's uh, stationed in Germany after the war, and um, who uh, meets a Fraulein and a white woman. And uh, there's a again because this is a this is the 50s, a four, no, this is the late 40s, early 50s. There's uh, you know all kinds of racial prejudice and uh, and uh, even in the military and even in Germany at that time. And uh, from Harlem to heaven, and it's a story of uh, of an African American American soldier stationed in Germany during the uh, occupation after the uh, after the fall of the, of the Nazis. Um, to keep in tune with the with the racial theme, um, there's a Beacon One Hundred Seven. Uh, well. Uh, uh, it's uh, called Stable Boy by A Stable Boy by Adam Rebel, and uh, their lust knew no ba barrier. Uh, it's a Walter Pop cover. Again, it's an interracial. Uh, Kitty couldn't stay away from the barn, and, uh, and there's a, happens to be a guy in the barn who she's. Uh, Interrupting his, uh, he's. I think he's shoeing a horse, and uh, she's interrupting him, standing there like that. What the hell do you expect? Uh, another, another uh, book that dealt with racial uh, topics of that era, and the animal in her. So that's uh, that's Stable Boy, and the last of the uh, of these small size beacons that started off the series. Uh, and then would be reprinted many times with the same cover art, uh, is Gutter Gang by J. De Becker. And uh, it's a classic sleaze, good girl art, tough guy, juvenile delinquent crime novel. And uh, one, of the, one of the key, key collectibles in the J.D. Uh, genre. 
this one. It's time the public opened its eyes to the naked, shocking story of teenage lust, dope, and prostitution, said Norman Anthony. And, uh, but here it gives you a little, on the top blurb, gives you a little better uh, indication. They came from the filthy slums where even their dreams were dirty. Uh, gutter gang. And the back cover. Their midnight orgies shocked a city. Juvenile delinquent gang. So that is the first eight um, books in the Beacon book series. The short, uh, short format Beacons. They'd be reprinted many times uh, over the years. Uh, this is the original ones from 1954. Uh, the uh, some of them with um, with a Walter Pop cover art uh, and uh, or he hit uh, original novels and uh, great stuff. This is uh, this is what started the Beacon series of outrageous, uh, sexy, good girl art sleaze novels that were they they probably publish uh, all in all with the Beacon series and then the uh, Beacon Signals and. Uh, um, soft cover library, uh, etc. Maybe maybe uh, 500 or a thousand books up until the 70s. So uh, this is where it all began in, the, in uh, for Beacon Books in the paperback area. So I hope you enjoyed this look at the uh, precursors and the, the beginning of Beacon Books. And uh, if you like, we'll do something on them uh, in future episodes. So I hope you like this look. Give us a thumbs up and a like. And uh, see you next time. Thanks for looking.